How's it on your side, Leslie? I think it's looking good. Okay. This hasn't seen the light of day in quite a while. This is exactly what this center is going to need. Good job, guys. Good job, fellas. Yeah. Looks nice, huh? Yeah, good. That's a great view. Definitely. I, I think I think what we want to do is just get it as far away as we can. And you know what? We might. It's probably okay to start cutting it. You think the dust from that's going to hurt anything, Amy? Get it far away from the grain. Okay. Now I'll tell you what now. Okay, come. Hey, do it again, put you back in and just get in and get your face this time. I'll tell you when. Hold on a sec. Okay, go for it. Alright, lean over, kind of look down at things. Are you pleased right, right now with uh, what's going on? Just kind of look over here, right about here. You pleased? Is this going oh, yeah. High? Yeah? yeah. Tell me what's going on now. What's next? Uh, we're about to uh, remove the uh, the stops that hold the mural in place. Get these out of the way so that we can raise the mural. And uh, you can talk the... loud all of a sudden. You got quiet on me. I mean, uh, it's exciting, right? Yeah. yeah. I got, I've been talking loud all morning. But we're about to hoist the mural into place. And um, we've got a rigging up here that uh, we're going to strap around the mural, protect the mural as we're putting it in place, and uh, probably here in about 30 minutes we'll have it sitting in its final destination. It's exciting, huh? Yeah, it's very exciting. We're happy to be able to be a part of this. This is really a, really a good deal.
up in Florida. Let's do the same thing with the one up above it. We're just going to ease it out by hand. to help us support it as we lift it. This is a really important piece. This was originally painted by local artist Porfirio Salinas in the 1970s and it was done as a diorama background that was at the Lone Star Hall of Horns down at the Lone Star Brewery and originally there was a longhorn right in front of this mural that's a spring scene, blue bonnet, quintessential Texas. And when the Lone Star Brewery closed up, this was purchased by David Carter of San Antonio and he rescued this mural and another and the other mural he's donated to the city of San Antonio. It's down at the convention center and this one was donated to the Witte Museum. And we had always planned that it would have a, a permanent home where it could be on permanent display in one of our new buildings as the Witte was expanding. And so now with the Mays Family Center we're finally able to have this showcase for this wonderful mural. The problem is, is between the time that it was donated to the Whitty Museum and having the May Center ready, there was a horrible fire at the Wolfson Building where the mural was being stored and displayed. And the entire structure, which was a historic building on Main Plaza, was completely gutted and destroyed. This mural is the only thing that survived that fire was one of the worst phone calls I ever got in my life to say that they had had a four alarm fire in the building. I rushed downtown, grab a hard hat, and I didn't even know if the mural had survived. And luckily, just as day was breaking, we could look into the building and see that the mural was still there. Um, firefighters were still putting out hot spots uh, in the building next door. And then it became, okay, it survived, it's had some damage, but we can save this. This, this is not a total loss. We can work with this. And so
Mark? Okay, all right. We're ready to move on. Exciting, particularly since one of the last times I saw this mural was when it was pulled out like a phoenix from the ashes of the fire downtown. Um, so it that not only has survived the fire, but it, it's so beautiful, and now it's going to be in its permanent home at the Whitney Museum of the Mays Family Center. I mean, what a day! It's this is a historic day, and I'm so happy to have our Salinas mural back. It's a very exciting day, the Porfirio Salinas mural that um, was picked out of the fire like a phoenix from the ashes just a couple of years ago and conserved by our wonderful conservator, uh, Anne Zanikos and her team. And now to have it back uh, you know, in a public space at the Mays Family Center for everybody to enjoy in all its glory. Uh, this is a historic day for the Whitney Museum. We've been waiting for it for a long time. And um, today's the day it gets hung in its new home. So uh, just, we're really thrilled to see it. It's part of us now.